right yes ma'am uh, so everyone today like those who are not attended yesterday today you will be attending at 4:30 or if you are doing by yourself also no issue but you should be uh, sending that uh, assignment what you have done that photo at least you should send me clear clear hmm i'll see <coughs> okay send out led programming part how to initialize pins how to uh, initialize port any doubts there <coughs> ma'am uh, can you explain me once ma'am just a brief explanation why were you asking first of all you came yesterday <laughs> The reason is I was uh, traveling to Andhra Pradesh. Then I'll explain you later. It's okay. <laughs> Very nice. If you have come yesterday and if you are not getting, I can explain. And from beginning, if I want to explain, then today's concept also I should explain, right? Okay. So after the class, I'll explain. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Come oh. <clears throat> Fine. So now everyone knows how to declare, um, how to initialize bit of SFR, right? So yes. three data types we have S bit, SFR, SFR sixteen, and for all the programming of GPIO lines, we will be taking these three uh, data types itself. Clear? Okay. So, so next assignment what we have is write the program to scroll your name on NCD. So this is what the next assignment we have. So before scrolling or before doing this assignment, first we should be knowing. What is LCD and how? What are the pins we have and how it works? Everything we should be knowing, right? Okay. So, and what all peripherals I'm explaining here that should be remembered till you finish the model. That is not for model like a course course purpose. I'm saying because in ARM the next microcontroller what you're studying there also you will be interfacing this LCD even in the Arduino and in Raspberry Pi. So everywhere you will use this at least. So there, like they're not be explaining what all those individual pins are for. Okay, so in this eight zero five and micro that means in this module you will be learning all in detail. You will study. So next module directly will interface. Clear? Okay. Ma'am, what is the flow like? How do we go? Like uh, probably morning, Bharti ma'am told probably by this week she'll end uh, C level one and she'll start C level two. And uh, now, after the eighty fifty one, we have started the embedded C. And after uh, learning this, what is the next thing which we will be learning, or how long is this gonna take? Uh, I think next approximately like just like uh, the schedule, the flow, how exactly the. Uh -huh. So normally, after your C class, like C, either you will have C level two or C plus plus. Yeah. And uh, uh, then coming to this one more session, like after eight zero five, and you may get started with the ARM, okay, our microcontroller. It's not uh, RTOS, that is operating system. Okay. Most probably it will be ARM itself. Uh, so one more hardware. Then at last only you will be having this uh, Python, Arduino, and Raspberry Pi. So like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> So fine. Today's class, uh, we are going to understand how to interface one more output device. So now LCD, so liquid crystal display, what we have. So is that input or output device? Output. So LED is also an output device. Okay, that means we can see the output, what we want, like on off. Similarly, coming to LCD, we are displaying what we want. So that means we are seeing it, right? So that means it is also one of the output device. Now you have interface. You are going to interface two output device. One is LED and one more is LCD. So two peripherals we are like by today we'll be learning, right? So now uh, we'll understand like how many uh, like different types of uh, LCDs we have, and also like what are the pins used for. Okay. So the LCD, as I said, it is nothing but output device. So normally, so whenever you take or wherever you have seen LCDs. What all characters you have seen? Numbers you have seen on the LCD or alphabets you have seen? Okay, other than that, some special characters you can also see like a plus, minus, or okay. So, so that is what here we have to understand because it is a device where we are using for display. Then what maximum we can display? Okay. So now the LCD what I am showing it is called as alphanumeric LCD or character LCD. Okay. So we have two types of LCDs. Okay, one is character LCD and one more is graphical LCD. 
Now coming to character LCD, so maximum we can display or it, what you can display will be of size character. What's the size of character? One byte. One byte, right? So now here you can see the difference between character LCD and graphical LCD. Look at this. Character LCD, if you take that, so now what LCD I'm showing, it is of 16 cross 2 LCD. Okay, so normally, how do you say the matrix? How do you say the matrix? So if I say 4 cross 3, that means it has got 4 rows and 3 columns. Now, just understand, I said 16 cross 2. That means it should be 16 rows and 2 columns. Is that in that way? No, it is like 16 columns and 2 rows. Always in the LCD, first comes column and then row. Okay. Okay. So now 16 cross 2. So that means 16 columns and 2 rows we have. And have you seen the LCDs with the same uh, matrix? 16 cross 2 itself. So you can see the LCDs with the 8 cross 1 or eight, uh, 16 cross 1, 20 cross 4, like different combinations of rows and columns we will be getting, right? So whichever you take, the concept of working, the how it works will be same. Okay? So now, here I've taken 16 cross 2, the LCD in the character LCD, what I'm showing is 16 cross 2, where maximum you can display 32 characters. Okay, it is character LCD, that means here the count should be taken with respect to character. 16 means 16 columns, 2 rows. So totally 32 characters you can display and your characters can be alphabets or numbers or any special characters. Fine? Okay. And coming to this character LCD, so now individual block what you have, there can you see the dots? Individual character with the dots? Yes. Dots. Look at this. Dots. Now, if you take this I, I is just a create, like I was getting, like I got created by joining those dots, right? Similarly, 0, 1, 2, 3, everything through dots. Now, is to understand, in the character LCD, the block what we have, it is of 5 cross 7 dot matrix. So, individual block has got 5 cross 7. Some LCDs will have 5 cross 7 or some will have 5 cross 8, 5 cross 9 also. One block. Okay. So now 16 cross 2. So totally 32 blocks are available. And in that single block has got 5 cross 7 or 5 cross 8 dot matrix. Now individual character what it is getting displayed. It is based on the dots in the character LCD. Coming to graphical LCD. It is not based on the dots. It is based on the pixels. Okay. Now in the graphical LCD. Can you make out the difference here? There are everything like how you type or how you just uh, type it on the notepad like that it is. So it is in the form of pixels. Now here the resolution, uh, here it is in the form of dot matrix. Here it is in the form of pixels where you can display the image also. Image. Okay. So now the resolution of this pixel what we have taken is 128 into 64. Fine. So whenever you go for graphical LCD, so uh, like a uh, in this, what happens? How you can program is, so 128, if you are taking 128 into 64, 128 will be divided into two chips, okay? So chip one will be first 64 and chip two will be another 64. Now, if you want to display any of the image or any of the character, like anything if you want to display, the pixels are divided into two. Like if it is 128, two. If it is 64, then 32, 32. Okay, so first you will be programming the first pixel, that means first chip, so 64, and next you will be programming for another chip. So there you will find one more pin called chip select. So based on the chip select, you will be programming for both the chips in case of graphical LCD. But in case of character LCD, you will not have those chip selection and all. You will have just one byte of, or the data lines you will be having, where you are just going to display, sorry, you are going to give the data and that will be displayed here. And it is not matrix. Clear? Okay. So I'll be explaining how to interface character LCD. Fine. So now here the color, like backlight of the LCD, you can see some LCDs will have green color or some will have blue color. Okay. So now. So coming to this LCD. So here, how many pins you can see? Pin number 1, 2, pin number 16. Okay. So now here I've taken 16 cross 2 LCD and the number of pins what we have got is 16, right? Now just an example, 
if i give you like 8 cross 1 think 8 cross 2 or 8 cross 4 something lcd i have given so how many number of pins will be there it's in it's in this no right Eight. 16 16 okay so whatever may be the size of our uh, matrix combination so you will be minimum we will be having 16 it may have more number of pins but you will understand based on the column we are not getting the pins here those are used to control and power up our lcd device getting okay so minimum all the lcds will have 16 The sixteen pins. Okay. If not, like whenever you are taking more number of rows and columns, like that time you will have more number of pins. But minimum sixteen will be there. Fine. Okay. Now we'll understand what are these pins for. Okay. So what is pin number one? What is two, three? Like that we'll understand. Okay. Coming to pin number one. Pin number one is VSS. So VSS means what? What do you? What is the expansion of SNS? Hmm. Voltage flow. voltage yeah. voltage surge something source right ha huh. source source is nothing but ground okay and vcc cc means voltage control ha uh ha -huh. cc means what you have studied the uh, transistors right ha uh, what are the three terminals collector main collector collector base emitter collector base emitter okay then what is cc here collector okay common collector okay fine so then e means emitter emitter okay so your emitter Hello. 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 Hmm. So VSS is nothing but ground. VCC for power supply, and you are the operating voltage for the LCD. We need is five volts. Okay. And V is nothing but contrast pin. So now these three are like we call these three pins as power pins. Power pins. Okay. Now as we know, like VSS or VCC, ground and supply in order to power up our micro sorry LCD is okay. And what is this VEE pin? So as you know, like it is emitter and you are just given as contrast. Now this VEE pin, what we have got, this will be connected to. potentiometer you know what is the purpose of potentiometer pot to vary the to vary right to vary the voltage okay so now here this v pin is connected to potentiometer as you vary the potentiometer the brightness of the lcd will be getting varied okay so for that pin this v is connected pin number 3 is connected to a potentiometer as you vary the potentiometer towards 0 and 5 volts so that means towards low voltage to high voltage the brightness is also getting very okay and almost all the lcds which you are going to buy it will be there by default they like they will be connecting and giving you no need to connect externally fine okay so these three pins are called as power pins okay and the most important pins to work with the lcd r okay r is r w enable understand these are the most important pins and we call it as control pins of the lcd so we have whenever you take the uh, hardware devices like hardware almost you will be having control pins for those devices even if you take microcontroller we have control pins remember what are the control pins of microcontroller <coughs> we have 40 pins right in that 40 pins 32 are fixed for io lines or address data line something now remaining what are the pins we have leave up leave vcc and ground what are the other pins we have ha vpp psn ha xtel crystal oscillator okay fine 
So now here, leaving your crystal oscillator pin VCC ground, we have reset, reset, EA pin, ALE, and PSN, and these are called as control pins because they are going to control external wrong there, right? So using EA pin, what you are doing, we are enabling whether to use an uh, external ROM or not. Fine. So ALE means again you are checking like uh, whether it is latching for address or data, something you are controlling the bus of the microcontroller. So now similarly, if you go for LCD, so if you and first of all in microcontroller every pins are called as control pins because we are controlling something, right? Controlling input output device that means it is also controlling. But specifically to control the address bus and data bus, we have this EA pin, ALE, all those things. Fine. Okay. Now coming to LCD, we have three control pins. Okay. These are the control pins which are used to work with the LCD. How to run the like how to work with the LCD? So here we need to understand the, these three pins. Okay. Then pin number seven to pin number fourteen, we have D zero to D seven. That means data pins. Now you need to display letter A on this uh, LCD means. Now this A should be given as data, and that data is getting stored in D zero to D seven. Okay, so now A is having its own ASCII value. You know, whatever is written in the character format will be considering its ASCII value, right? Now, what is ASCII value of A? Sixty-five is the ASCII value of A. But here, if you write sixty-five, you cannot write sixty-five H. Okay, if you write sixty-five H, what happens? Six is one nibble and five is one more nibble. Now, sixty-five is a decimal value. That decimal value is equivalent hex value is only getting stored in the address or data lines, and that is nothing but forty one. Forty one is the hex value of capital letter A. Hex value, understanding? Okay. So now you are anyhow you are storing the values in the nipple format. D zero to D seven means how many pins are you going to get here? Eight. Eight pins. Now eight means again you will be connecting your LCD to the ports ports of your microcontroller. Now you are programming your microcontroller based on the nibble values. That means hex values. Now here you are going to write hex value that is zero x forty one, which is nothing but capital letter A. Understanding? Now four is a nibble, higher nibble, and one more one is lower nibble. Fine. Okay. So now all the data are getting stored in D zero to D seven, and understand at the time how many data you can display on the screen. How many data? Like at the time, only one character, only one character. Then after that, next data it will store in the memory, and that is going to be read on the screen. Clear? Okay. So totally we have sixteen pins. In that first three are power pins, next three are control pins, and then we have got data lines. And now. We have pin number fifteen and pin number sixteen, and these pins are nothing but called as anode and cathode pin. Okay, so this is nothing but anode, which is positive, and cathode is nothing but negative, right? And these are internally connected to five volts and ground just to give backlight for the LCD. So whenever you turn on the LCD, it should be getting some light, right? And that is backlight where you will be having LED there. Okay, to like whenever you power on, without that also we can see output, right? But it will not be much accurate. Like you can see properly visible. Okay, so now your pin number fifteen and pin number sixteen is connected to like got connected to VCC and ground, so for backlight purpose. Okay, <coughs> now among these sixteen pins, any of you know VSS, VCC, we are not going to connect. Do we need to program those pins? No, any of you will just connect ground. And supply and contrast that is already connected to port. Now you have to be programming. And 15 and 16 pin are you going to program? Are you going to program? No, it is just connected to VCC and ground already. Now you have to think of three control pins as well as eight data pins. You should be understanding these pins because these are the pins which we are going to connect to microcontroller. And are you programming LCD or microcontroller? For which one you are writing the program? LCD microcontroller. or microcontroller? Microcontroller. Microcontroller. The pins of the microcontroller and those pins are connected to external devices, right? So to connect to program, you should be knowing the working of the device. And those pins are connected to microcontroller, and through microcontroller only we are controlling, right? 
so now you should be knowing when to give high pulse to a pin of microcontroller when to give low pulse to the pin of microcontroller based on that only the output device is getting work fine okay now we'll understand all these three plus eight pins of the lcd fine so coming to the first pin that is rs now that indicates or that is saying register select what is this register select you should understand what is So pin number four is RS. Yes. So RS is nothing but register select. Okay. So now here the name itself says you are going to select something. Okay. Now the pin of this. Uh, the pin, like fourth pin, is going to be connected to a pin of microcontroller. Now, now if it is getting to getting connected to microcontroller, then maximum two values we can give to that pin. What is that? It can be one or it can be zero. Now you are going to select based on these values. Whenever the pin is given with high something, it is working, and whenever you give zero, then it is working with some other function. Fine. Okay. Now what are those function is only important. Now. So these are the three control pins. In that first one is RS. Now, whenever RS pin is given with zero, whenever RS pin is given with zero, then it will work as command. Okay. So understand, it will work as command register. And whenever RS is given with one, whenever RS is given with one, then it will act as data. Now, understand here what is that command and data? First of all. How many data pins we have? Eight. Eight. So that is from D zero to D seven, right? Okay. So now, if you take this data pins, what all data you want to display? I said it will be taking its hex value. Okay. Now in the LCD, so now uh, to make the LCD understand, there are some commands. So to work with the LCD, so to make the LCD understand, like this is the way you want to work. So for example, uh, like we have two rows, right? So by default, it will be working with first row, first column. Whatever, even though you don't select which position you want, it will be displaying in first row, first column position. Now think, you want to change the position. Okay, the default thing is first row, first column, but we want to change that to second row, uh, somewhere in between fifth position, you guess. Now that means we are changing the default thing. If you want to change, then you have to say the LCD like you have to make the cursor to point to that first position, like to that particular position. In order to do that, you have to pass some of the commands. Okay, so some predefined commands are there for LCD, which I will be showing you now. Okay, so for uh, uh, from the data sheet itself, like from the manufacturer itself, you will get the data sheet for each and every device. You will have the data sheet and make the habit of referring the data sheets. Okay, so now in that data sheet, if you find, then you will get the different uh, commands if you want to clear the LCD. Clear in the sense. 32 blocks we have something you have displayed and you want to clear the entire display you want to make everything empty that means for that you have one more command lcd command and all the commands are also 8 bit commands understand all the commands are also 8 bit fine okay now whenever you want to give such commands like clearing the lcd or you want to change the position where you want to display okay if you want to select all those things then you have to be setting your lcd in command mode understanding so now if you want command mode then at the time what should be the value for rs zero yes. whenever we set rs as zero then whatever input you give to d0 to d7 will be considered as command so now your commands are also 8 bit and at the same time data data is also what is the size of data 8 bit so both are stored in d0 to d7 itself Understanding, you don't have separate data bus as well as command bus. Both are stored in D0 to D7. For that reason only, we are going to select by using RS pin. Whenever we program RS as 0, then it will understand for D0 to D7 what are we are giving. So that is command. And if you make it RS as 1, then what input we have given to D0 to D7 will be data. Clear with this concept? Yes. So first control pin, I'm explaining where you're going to select the mode, command or the data. 
if you want to give command to lcd and it, it is not like first only you should give command then data anywhere in the program okay see after displaying something you want to clear your lcd then give a command and at that time what you have to do r should be given with zero and after that after clearing also you can display something and that becomes data and that data if you want to display to d0 to d7 it should be one clear everyone any doubts no no okay so fine next pin we have or next control pin that is r w okay so which is nothing but so by name itself for you can understand it is nothing but read or write okay. read or write pin okay so now again two functions we have read or write that means again this is individual bit where again it will be having two functions and the programming part will be one or zero whenever you give one what happens whenever you give zero what happens and what are those two functions read or write okay now to pin number uh, fifth pin if you make r w as zero r w as zero then to d0 to d7 what are you going to do is you are going to right whenever you want to write something to d0 to d7 that means it is in the memory understand so it is d0 to d7 in the memory if you want to write either the command or the data then you have to make zero for the pin rw understanding see you can write command or data it is not like we are writing only the data command or it can be data both you should be writing to d0 to d7 itself then after writing then only you are you can read read in the sense you can display or uh, like you can see it on the screen fine okay now if you make rw as 1 if you make rw as 1 that means we are reading reading in the sense lcd will be reading what is there in the memory okay so that is to read it can be again command or the data understanding understood okay so two control pins we understood so first one is to say the input is command or the data fine so now after deciding whether it is command or data then you have to be write into where d0 to d7 now if you want to write then you should be making it as zero and if you are reading reading in the sense from d0 to d7 to the screen on the screen if it wants to display then you have to making it as one any doubts here rs and rw mane pakhi ha no by default any of you are connecting to microcontroller where everything will be high itself okay so now whenever you want command and if you want to write that only you are making it as zero okay if everything is one you cannot do anything okay ma'am read read and write is with respect to microcontroller right ha ah, this is with respect to microcontroller but that microcontroller pin is connected to lcd fifth pin means when we set it is one then it will be displaying on the lcd displaying it on the lcd yes okay so that is what so now writing means you are writing to the data pins of the lcd data memory okay and read means from the memory to or like on the screen what you are displaying that is only reading fine okay so now the sixth pin or one more the last control pin what we have is enable en so en is nothing but enable so name itself says you are enabling you want to enable something fine okay now you are enable how to enable so now first of all this enable pin is used for reading purpose itself so one method you can read in two different method so one method is by taking rw pin as one and one more method and easy method is by using enable pin so again it is used for reading itself okay now this enable pin or read which, which means what is there in d0 to d7 you have to read that you have to latch the information present in d0 to d7 to like on the screen fine for that enable pin should be given with high to low pulse high to low pulse okay. high to low pulse means imagine like how it should be 
So now we are given high pulse and low pulse. Now in between some delay is there. Okay. Now this delay indicates the time taken by the microcontroller, time taken by the device to read the information what is there in the data pins. Understanding? So now minimum it will be in the range of millisecond. Almost all the LCDs will be reading the or lacking the information with the range of millisecond. Like for example, some LCDs will have 400 millisecond or some will have 450 millisecond, 500 millisecond. That okay? Based on that frequency, you are going to give a pulse. Now here uh, the high to low pulse delay will be given in the data sheet. Just for an example thing, the LCD what I've shown is having the uh, range. That means minimum delay what you should be giving is. 450 millisecond thing. Okay. Now, if it is less than 450, then it will not read anything. It will not read in the sense it will not be displaying anything on the screen. Even though it is reading, a pro like exactly it will not read. Fine. So, now we have 8 bit of data. 8 bit means 8 bits will be there. Right. So, now one by one it should be keep on reading. Now, after reading, the total time taken to read that it will be 450 millisecond or it can be more than that. But it should not be less than that. Fine. Okay. Now, high to low pulse indicates the time taken by that. So, time taken by that particular LCD device to read. Fine. So, that is what high to low pulse. Now, you know approximate delay, then you can use this enable pin itself. It is easy, right? To read this instead of going for RW1, because RW1, some extra process you have there. Okay, then read method that means making RW pin as one. Instead of that, you can go for enable if you know the delay, approximate delay at least. Okay, so within that delay, it will be finishing all the data what all you have given to D0 to D7. Understanding? So, whenever you give enable pin as one, that means you are enabling, giving high pulse, and zero means disabling. And within that delay only, it is going to read the information. Clear? Clear, everyone? Any doubts? Any doubts here? No. Okay. No. So these are the control pins. So three control pins we have. So, so that is what. Once you can go through your two registers we have. One is for command and one more is data. Whenever you make RSI 0, what happens? It will be selected okay. as command mode. And if it is 1, then you are going to give the input data. data. Fine. RW to 0, that is RW is 0, that means you are writing 1 means read. Okay. Now, one more method, we, like one more is enable, which is used for reading itself. So, which if you know the delay, then by default you can give the delay, like in the program itself, you can give the delay, and within that delay, it will be reading the information. Understanding? Okay. So, these are about the control pins. Now, what next we have? The data pins, right? Okay. So first we'll understand the data pins. How many data pins we have? Okay. Data pins, we have eight data pins. That means one byte. Now at the time you can give one byte of data. Now, and as we know, commands and data, both are eight bits, both are eight bit uh, like a uh, uh, value we are giving. So now coming to this data pins. First of all, we have two modes here. Two modes you can uh, use this 8-bit uh, data lines. First as, first one is nothing but 8-bit mode, 8-bit mode. And second one is 4-bit mode. So two ways we can program this LCD. That means what all data command you are giving, you can access that as 8-bit or you can access that as 4-bit mode. Understanding now, see, even you have one, you got one more configuration like either to select 8 bit mode or 4 bit mode should be given as command itself. I said, right, which position you want first row, second row, or clear the LCD. So, along with that, either you want 8 bit mode or 4 bit mode also should be selected, and that is as command itself you are going to select. Fine, okay. Now, coming to 8 bit mode, then completely from D0 to D7, we are going to use. For the connection of data pins, we are going to use D0 to D7. Now, if it is 4-bit mode, in 8-bit, how many 4-bits we are going to get? In one 8-bit, how many 4-bits we get? Two 4-bits, right? That means 
either you can connect d is equal to Oh. D7. So either you can connect D0 to D3 or D4 to D7, but you cannot connect D0 to D3. So anyhow, we will get two numbers, D0 to D3 or D4 to D7, but we cannot connect to D0 to D3, even though you connect also, you will not get output. Okay, reason I say. Okay, so now understood. We can make the data pins to work as 8-bit mode or 4-bit mode. So now anyhow your input cannot be 4-bit because all the characters are 1 byte. So you are giving the input as 8-bit but while reading the information it will read as 8-bit or 4-bit. Understanding? Yes? Okay. Now first we will understand. Yes. Now how to read first of all now you have, you have got the data. For an example, I want to display character A on the LCD. So as I said, characters A is X value is nothing but 0, X 41. Yes. How do you write 41 in binary? Like in hex? Hmm. How to write 41 in the nickel format? 0, 1, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 0, 1. Right? Okay. Now this is 41. Now starting from D0. D0 as LSB and D7 as MSB. So now it is from D0 to D7 it got stored. Okay, now while reading, to read, either you can go for enable method, right? Or you can go for read method, fine? So now, anyhow, data is written, either you go for enable method or you go for RWP making it as one method also. Now, anyhow, if you are using enable method, you are only fixing the delay. You are only fixing the delay and within that delay, anyhow, it will read. But if you are going for read method, now if you want to read this, anyhow, you will make RWP as one. But how will you understand whether the data is completely read or till what time it will be keep on reading? So that means you should be waiting. You should be waiting. So here you just understand. You will be giving high to low bus. Within that delay, it will read some information. Now, if you are going for read method, like read pin, read uh, or write pin as one, that means you are reading in that way, where how much of time it takes, you will not be knowing. Getting? So that means you should be keep on waiting there until it finishes. You should be keep on waiting. Okay. How do we check? So some acknowledgement pin should be there. Yes. By looking at the status of that acknowledgement pin, you can stop the process. If not, you should be keep on waiting until even though it finishes also, you'll be keep on waiting. So to check whether the data is read or not, you have an acknowledgement pin and that acknowledgement pin is nothing but D seventh bit. And this D7 bit is also called as busy pin. Why it is called as busy pin is? See, whenever the data is, whenever the data is still reading, okay, then D7 bit will have the value as 1. Whenever you are reading using RW pin, whenever we are reading using RW pin, then by default this D7 will act as busy pin. Okay, and at the time you are checking the status now. If the D7 pin is 1, that means it is still busy in internal operation or busy in reading the data. Understood? Why it is called as busy pin, you understanding? Okay. So now, if your D7 pin, if the D7 pin is having the status as 0, that means it is ready to take. So it is ready to take next to data. That means first the data is read and it is ready. That means the status is 0. Understood? So ready to take next byte. Next byte can be command or it can be data, anything. Because both are eight bits and whatever you write to LCD should be read. Fine. Understood. Any doubts? I'll repeat if you want again. So now, whenever you take, either eight bit you take or four bit you take, whenever you write data to your D0 to D7, now, you are, if you are reading enable using enable method, no issue because you are only giving, you are only setting the delay there, high to low bus. Within that delay, it will latch. Now, if you are using, like if you are reading using this RW pin, then you have to be waiting, waiting till the status become like one to zero. Okay, and that status we will be checking in D seven to bit. Okay. Now, if the D7 bit is 1, that means it is still busy, busy in doing or busy in reading. And if it, the status is 0, then it has read some information. It is ready to take next byte. Understanding? Now, you should be getting a question here. 
Anyone got this question? Now I said D7 is a bit which you will be checking the status. Now what is there in D7 here? This is my data and what is there in D7? Zero. Now, that, how will you consider then when it will be busy or when it will be ready? Because all the time according to this 41, all the time this D7 will be zero itself. Understanding? Then if it is always zero, will you consider that as always ready? No. Because it is reading something. Whenever it is reading, then the status obviously should become one there. Right? And when it finishes, then it has to become zero. Getting? Okay. Now, look at this. Whenever you want this busy pin method, whenever you want this <coughs> busy pin method, you have to do some configuration there. Okay? What is that configuration is? Okay? So, understand? Whenever you take... So, here I just write... Whenever you take RS as 0, what happens? Data. R is 0. R is 0. Command, right? Okay. So it is nothing but the input it will consider as command. And at the time, RW pin if you make it as 1. Sorry, RW if you make it as 0, then? R is 0 is data. Yes? RS0 is data or command? Command it is. Command, no? It is command. And RW, if it is 0, then please you are writing. What are you writing? Command you are writing. Command will be written to D0 to D7. Fine. And next configuration. Now, if I make RS, RS equals to 1, and then RW pin equals to 0. Now, now, so now it will be taking it as taking the input as data, and if it is zero, then right. right. What are you writing here then? Data. data we are writing. Fine. Then next configuration RS. So now two bits means maximum four combinations we are getting. Okay, we'll yeah. be getting. So R RS equals to zero. Then R W equals to one I Now read. So now here what we have done is RW is 1 means which means read that you know everyone. But here you have to make, make you have to differentiate as this D7 what value it is holding. It is not busy pin status. It is a data pin. See now here when you write the data, your 0 indicates it is a data. Right. And the status is also checked in the same bit where whenever it is 1, it is busy. And 0 means it is ready. Now. After writing the data, then you have to make that function as visiting function. And to make that, here you have to make RS as 0. 0 means what? Command. And RW1 means you are reading. And you cannot make RS as 1. RS means what? RS1 means what? Data. And you are making read means that is not possible. Okay, so whenever you do, because when you take this one, then this D0 pin will act as data pin, I mean data line. But now do we need it as a data line? No, we want that with another function that is nothing but you have to change the function as zero. Now it is combined. Now what all previously have written based on that the status is getting changed. Data is already written. Okay, after writing while reading only you are checking the status. And if you want to read using this method, then this should be the configuration. So this configuration, what I've taken, this is for busy pin matter. Understanding? Understood? So these two common things, like normally whenever you're giving command, whenever you're writing the data, these are common. But if you're reading as like using RW pin, and this should be the configuration. And you cannot make this as one because it will act as what? If you make this as what, what will happen? Data. Then D7 will be acting as data only, not as busy pin. When you want busy pin, at the time, this should be the configuration. Here, this is one method of reading and one more method is simple, that is using enable pin. Fine. Any doubts here? Okay. So if no doubts, then you can easily answer this question why you have taken D4 to D7. For 4 bit, I, even I could have taken D0 to D3, but still I have taken D4 to D7. And the reason is, where is the busy pin? D7. Now, if you take D0 to D3, will you find busy pin there? 
No. And first of all, understand, even though we are not using this discipline method for reading purpose, LCD will not be knowing. Are you reading using enable method or using a reading method? Okay, it will know only to read. It knows only to read. So now for that reason, we are taking this higher level pins, D4 to D7. Understood? So this is for discipline. The reason to select the higher nibble because D7 will be acting as internal, it is acting, it will act as busy bin. And that will act only when the configuration is set as this. Clear? Any doubts? No doubts? So for three control pins we have and the data pins. And in the data pins, either you can go for 8-bit mode or you can go for 4-bit mode. So 8-bit mode, D0 to D7, any abnormal pins, like all as usual you will take. If it is 4-bit, will not program D0 to D3. We will be programming D4 to D7 because D7 will be having this busy pin concept. Okay. So for that reason. Understood? Okay. So now... <laughs> So that is what here they have given. If RW is 1 and RS is 0, then only D7 is used as busy pin. And whenever D7 is 1, it is busy 0, then it is ready to take next data. Fine. Okay. And <coughs> so whenever you are given with any hardware program, so as I said, you should be making the hardware block diagram, at least rough block diagram, so that you will get idea what all the pins should be connected or what are the pins you need to program. Fine. So now, how many pins we have here? 16 pins. Now, in this 16, 16 pins, what are the pins we are going to connect? Do we need to connect VSS, VCC and ground? Sorry, VSS, VCC and contrast pin? No, we don't want to connect. Then do we need to connect anode and cathode pin? No. no. Then we left with 4, 5, 6 and 7 to 14. 8 plus 3, totally 11 pins are to be connected to microcontroller. That means 11 pins you should be programming. So either 11 pins or if you are selecting 4 bit, then only 4 pins you have to take here. Then 4, like 3 control pins and 4 data pins. Totally 7. Either it will be 7 or 6, 11 or 10. Okay, I say why it is 10 or why it is 6. Fine? Okay. So no doubts then. Okay. So now just a, like a rough sketch, like block diagram, you can take D0 to D7 for data pins and RS, RW, enable are control pins. And anyhow, we just wanted to program these pins only. Either you select 8-bit or you select 4-bit. These are the pins to be programmed. Rest all you have to be making external connection. VSS, ground, all this. Fine. Now, I said there are some commands. If you want to make your LCD understand, then we have some commands. Okay. Now, the first command, what you need to know. And look at these commands. All are how many bit? 16 bit? 8 bit, right? 0, 1, 3, 0, 3, 8, 2, 0. All these are 8 bits. Right? Now, even we have D0 to D7, 8 bit only. What all command you write, that will be written to D0 to D7 itself. Fine. Now, if whenever you give 0, 1, whenever you give 0, 1 to the data pins of LCD, what function it has to do? Clear display. What all, whatever you have displayed on LCD screen should be getting clear. Understanding? Okay. Then, and look at this. What all commands you are giving? These all are commands. And before giving these commands, you have to set your LCD. RS pin as 0 or 1. RS should be 0 whenever you want, we want to give this, uh, these commands. Okay. Now, next command we have 30. 30 indicates you are using how many bit? 8 bit. And your one line indicates you are using only first row. So it is for 16 cross 2 LCD. And there, if you are using 8 bit and you are using 30 as your command, 8 bit and only first row you are programming. Second row, even though you select also, it will not get programmed. Understanding? And here that depends on the LCD. It can be 5 cross 7 or 5 cross 8 also. Okay, some LCDs will have 5 cross 8 dot matrix. Fine. Then if you give the command as 3 8. So now 3 8 means then 8 bit again. And how many rows you are, you, you are able to use? 2. That means both the rows you can use. Fine. And again 5 cross 7. And 2 0. 4 bit. Okay. So it is it means working as 4 bit. Only first row 5 cross 7. And if you use 2 8. 
four bit, both the rows and five rows. Okay. Now you say me if in three eight, if it is uh, thirty like three eight command if you are passing eight bit it is how many uh, rows you can use both then maximum how many characters you can display on the LCD total. Another sheet. Huh? Okay. Okay. No, using three eight as a command then it is used for eight bit that means you are giving the data command you are accessing as eight bit and you are you you are able to use both the rows. If you are you if you are able to use both the rows, then how many number of characters you can display on the screen? Thirty-two. Thirty-two, right? Yes, thirty. Okay. Then similarly, for two-eight command, if you are using four bit, then how many characters you can display? Sixteen. Two-eight command, four bit, both the rows. Fifty. Yes, I told you. Thirty-two. Thirty-two only, right? Thirty-two only, right? Thirty-two. Yes. See, the maximum capacity of the LCD is to display thirty-two characters. Here, what we are doing is we are accessing as eight bit. Your data you are giving eight bit, but accessing is eight bit. When you take four, data is eight bit, but accessing is four bit. Accessing is only four bit, but displaying is maximum thirty-two only, right? Understanding, so it is not because of four bit it will get half of that. Accessing is only four bit. That means one eight bit two times accessing. Clear? So that means how many number of characters you can display? Thirty two only. But if it is on one line, then only sixteen characters. Clear? Okay. And zero six is the command for entry mode. So whenever you are stop like uh, displaying, like you have turned off, you want to like again display, then you can say it as entry mode, entry. Fine. Then zero eight. Whenever you give zero eight as the command to LCD, then what you are saying is display off and cursor off. So you will be getting cursors here. So whenever you start displaying something to that start position, you will get bold like block type of cursor. Okay. Now that cursor, what you have? If you don't want to display that cursor, then you can give zero eight as the command. Along with that, if you have displayed anything before, also it will not display now because you are turning off the display there. Understanding? So if you want to display some like uh, starting, like you want to display after some time, you want to turn off, like you want to display off, then you can go for zero eight. And similarly, display on and cursor on. That means you want the cursor also. You want to display, then you can go for zero eight. Then zero C, display on, cursor off, and zero F, display on, and cursor will be blinking here. Not stable, it will be blinking. Understanding? Okay. You have two types of cursor. One is block kind of cursor. Block. How you have block? The same way you would have cursor. One more is underscore kind of cursor. So if you take cursor, that means normal cursor. Block. Like blink. If you take that, will be like line cursor. Underscore. Fine. Then command eleven, like one eight is the command. If you pass, then it is saying like shift entire display left. Now what all you have displayed? Think I have displayed a command like uh, ISM. Something I have displayed. Entire thing you are displaying left means position left shift, where one block is only getting shifted there. Now ISM you have only SM you can see that. Understanding? Okay. And similarly, next command you have got is one C, which means you are shifting towards right. And that shift, what happens? Only one time the block is getting shifted. Not like it will scroll. It will never scroll. It will shift only one block. Fine. Okay. Then one zero one four. If you use, then your what are you moving? You are moving cursor left or right by one character. One character means one block. Fine. So there, in one eight and one C, whatever you have displayed, entire thing you are describing, like shifting. But in case of one zero and one four, you are shifting what? Shifting what? Cursor. Cursor. Only cursor. You have displayed something. After displaying, the cursor you are moving. Whereas in one eight and one C, what entire thing? It can be thirty two characters also. It will shift either left or right. Fine. Okay. Then. Fifteen and sixteen. So these two commands are important whenever you want to display something with a particular position. Okay. Now in sixteen cross two, how many rows and columns we get? Sixteen rows. Sixteen columns and two rows. Right. 
So whereas two rows we have first row and second row. Now, as I've already said, by default, the position of that LCD, whatever you want to display, that will start from first row and first column. Now, something you want to start with, where H is there, there exactly you want to start. From there, you need to start. That means you need to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is 8th block you want to display. Now, to display some command, you need to pass. What is the command you are going to pass? So, that commands are itself 8, 0 and C0. Whenever you give 8, 0, that means you are making the cursor to point at first row, first column. Understanding? So that is the default position. 8-0 is the default position where the cursor will be in first row and first column. Now, if you want that uh, like cursor to be in somewhere other position, see now, I want to point at H, where H is there, from there I need to start. That means starting from the base address 8-0, 8-1, 8-2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If I give the command as 87, if I give the command as 87, then cursor will be coming to this position. Where H is there, to that position it comes and from there it will be continuing display. Understood? So in order to select your position, where exactly what first row or second row, then you have to go for two addresses. One is 80 and one more is C0. C0 means making your cursor to come at second row. So starting from C0 to CF, because totally we have 16 blocks, 80 to 8 f and c0 to cf so whichever you want you can select to start your display fine okay and the same thing only like here we have got same thing clear written decrement all those same commands okay. so here in this you can clearly understand fine okay so if this is what uh, the assembly programming once you can go through the assembly programming okay if you are uh, not understanding you can ask me and two ways I have given the program. One is using delay method. That means enable method. And one more is busy flag method. Okay. So busy flag method means you have to check the condition. JBP1.7. Seventh bit of that data means you will be keep on checking the condition. So that is what extra you have to do here. Okay. So once you can go through this program. Okay. And if you have any doubts, you can ask me. Okay. I'll explain him, but let's see. I will explain embedded C. So assembly program, those who want can refer. So that's why I put almost for all the peripherals, I've put assembly program in uh, PPT, but I'll be explaining embedded C. Fine? Okay. Those who are interested on assembly can try. Right. Whichever programming language you select, then hardware connection is same. Okay. So I have just shown the schematic of Proteus. In Proteus, how we have how I have done. So one port I've taken for data pins D0 to D7. And three control pins. How many pins we need to connect here? 11, 8 for data pins and 3 for control pins if you are selecting 8 data pins. If you are selecting 4 data pins, then 4 minus 4. Fine? Okay. And here, here I have taken uh, 8 pins, 8 pins as 8 bit as well as 3 control pins. Now, this is how the connection will be. You can change to any of your port. It is not like you have to use these ports itself. Fine. Okay. So now we'll understand how to program or will you program? Yes, ma'am. Will you program? Yes. Will you try the program? Okay, ma'am. Oh, nice. Will you try? Huh? Try. Let's try. Yeah, never let see. Embedded C itself. Okay. I'll just give what all you have to do. So, write a program. Let me check like how many can write by following the steps. Write a program to display to display a character character on LCD. Okay, so I just want you to display for only one character, you know, then you can try your name and scroll anything because the assignment is given to display and scroll your name. Okay, now the simple program what I'm showing is you need to try for single character. Okay, now first you say me what all you have to do, then you try. Ma'am, is there any header file? No header file. So I'm not explaining with header file. Header file means it will be pretty fine functions. 
so here you are not explaining you explaining you with side of file i want you to write program by taking things okay okay so next module and all like when you go for audio and all there by default like all uh, in bit library you will be taking that any of there you will write in simple way at least now to understand this program like right in now like program you just write by yourself hmm? okay first you say me how to display character so what all i have to do first step initialize what initialize all the required pins okay so now you decide what are the pins you want yes what are the pins you need four to one three. three control pins we have okay yeah. three control pins so i'll just write here excel rs rw and enable okay that means you have to connect three pins yesterday excel we did like individual led we took sb now remember like understand for three pins how to initialize fine okay then then data pins that means d0 to d7 so now your what i have given that is for 8 bit so understand data pins if i am giving d0 to d7 means you have to program in 8 bit mode and every time it will be r option to choose whether it should be 8 bit or 4 bit your wish you can take anything okay your wish now your question i am just i am giving everything so that according to that you say the program and for 4 bit what do you have to do i'll explain like some changes you have to do changes in the sense uh, because you will be accessing 4 bits right so how to do that i'll explain now you just uh, say for 8 bit so now given configuration is 8 bit and you want to select two rows i want you to use both the rows hmm? okay fine then d0 to d7 then totally you have to be programming 11 pins okay then second step then what you now you have initialized every initialization you have done rs rw enable and the data pins done now later what you have to do hmm? what to declare so, yes, what is the next step what should be the next step rs we have to make it zero zero see now you, i have said you have to display character on lcd before displaying what is the configuration i have given you have to select 8 bit and you have to select both rows if you want this configuration by default it cannot be right so some configuration you have to do that means you have to go for commands so which what is the command to select this 8 bit mode and two rows so we just go here for selecting 8 bit and uh, two rows what is the command three eight is the command yes if three eight is the command then that before giving the command you should be configuring rs okay so now here you should be selecting so if it is command if it is if command then rs so i just write your configure configure rs rw so if you are taking rs then you have to be writing just set rs first rs for configuring as what command or data command or data then after configuring this then what you have to do again what you have to configure rw rw, RW. so that means whether you are writing so first time you have to be writing then only you can read without writing how can you read right so first to write Zero. i just write your write or read then i will not uh, like uh, you can try with the uh, read method but i will be showing the program by using enable method okay so enable data or command so enable data or command means already you have written something that you are reading reading means enable that means high to local should be given s yes. done please so much right so do you have to decide so if you are configuring rs then what are you going to give is that a command or is that a data then if it is data same procedure whatever you give command should be written and should be read and if it is data also should be written and it should be enabled fine only this we have only three control pins based on my our selection we have to be configuring understood 
okay now anyway now what we have to do now i want to display now to display this sorry if i want to configure for 8 bit and 2 rows that as you said the command is 0x38 fine okay now according to the step we'll go what is the first step initialize and to initialize either you can select uh, or you can program by using as include register 51.s if not also the other method you know by taking the address fine so as include register 51.h okay then now we have to like initialize all the level pins now rs are to be enable you should be enabling individually itself then what is the data type of it if to if you want to initialize individually hmm. which set b so i what happened i bit yes we so look at this i have taken rs rw enable you are able to see right ppt connection yeah. now rs connected to port 2.0 port 2.1 port 2.2 for rw enable now i need to access bit of an sfr ports are sfr then with yeah. data i have to take sfr yes bit yes. right okay so s bit s bit rs i have taken any name you can take so i have just taken rs which is the pin that you need to decide either you take port 0 port 1 port 2 anything so i have i'll take port 1 cap 0 that means 0 bit 0 bit then again s bit rw hmm first bit that s bit enable Second done. RS RW enable done. And for a data pins, you can take SFR LCD and the address you can take. What is the address of uh, port two will take or port zero? Port zero will take any port. Okay, so any port you can take. So here, for example, I'll take port zero itself. So if it is port zero, who are doing in port yes, you have to connect register five. If not, go to other port. Understanding? because in for proteus like uh, you have to be connecting full up register externally fine okay so the address of port 0 is 0x 80 that means you are selecting port 0 and whenever you are finding something new like uh, extra thing just comment it so when you are referring it will be helpful for you okay fine then any extra initializations we have to do here all the initializations done three control pins and the data pins data bus right okay. now we'll go for the main program okay now what is the next thing you have to configure rs for what selecting the data or command before giving the data first thing you have to be setting this configuration and this configuration comes under command s yes? so if it is command then i have to take this rs as command okay now don't write down if you are writing anyone so first rs i should be making it as zero saying that saying that as what command command okay done now this command you are writing or reading writing writing then rw should be zero zero that means you are writing okay now enable the command for d0 to d7 what you are going to write now that is nothing but command and you are writing fine then what is your d0 to d7 connected to port 0 so now yeah. in the circuit you just understand so here port 1 i have taken so now port 1 are connected to data pins right now what date what value you give to port 1 that is only given to port 0 sorry data pins of the lcd also yeah Understanding. Now, what is the command you have to give if you want this configuration? Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Then here I should be taking. I should be giving thirty-eight for port zero. Then here it should be LCD equals zero x three eight. So here what you have done? You have taken eight bit two lines or two rows. Fine. Okay. Then after giving this, then you have to read. 
Yes. yes. So now yes. you have configured what RS also RW. Now we will just want to enable. It can be data or it can be command. Now it is command. I have to enable. And if you are enabling, how to enable? High low pulse. By giving high to low pulse. Okay. Then high to low pulse should have some delay. Then I'll take enable pin equals to one. That means you are enabling. High pulse is given. And in order to give delay, like uh, give delay and to make zero, then some delay should be written. Now delay program. So I just give your hundred. Now I'm calling the delay program means you should understand you have to define the delay program. Yesterday we did delay program. The same delay program itself you are going to write here. Understood? Okay. Then you have to give enable as zero. And if you require, you can call this delay again. If you require. Done. Okay. Now, any one command is passed? Yes. Fine. Okay. After giving this command, if you want to clear LCD, for example, uh, some old data, if you keep on getting, you want to clear it once and then you want to start displaying your data. Mm -hmm. Fine. If you want to clear LCD, then. What is the other command to clear the LCD? One. Yeah, one. Mm -hmm. Zero one. Okay. Now that is also command now. Yes, zero one is also the command. Now what you have to do? Again, we should be taking RSRW equals to zero or any other you have to set once. No need to write it again. But this these three lines you have to be writing. Sorry. These lines you have to write. Yeah. Again, if you take LCD with the next data, that command should be enabled. Fine. That yeah. should be, command should be enabled. Then again you should be repeating. And now think you want to write data. Now, after giving this command, like you have selected 8 bit and you have selected 2 rows also. Now, we want to write data. Data means what you have to do? One. RS should be done as? One. one. Saying that it is data. data. Okay. Then, RW again? Uh, zero. 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 You are not reading the data. You are writing the data. So, that means it is right. Okay. Then, for the same LCD, I am going to write the data and that data is nothing but, uh, I'll just take your letter P. So P is nothing but a character. Yes, P is character. So I'll just take this data, what data you want. Okay, now P is ASCII value and that ASCII value hex value will be put into LCD. That means 240. See, in the program, if you have not initialized this LCD, then directly you can take your capital P0. Yes, okay. Then after that, again, this enabling process should be done same. High to local should be given. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now we have written the command for 3A and the data for P. Now, will you do you think in the program only one command and one data you will give? Hmm? Only one data and only command. Okay. Now I want to display my name, entire name. P H I A O like, like so many characters are there. Now for that, will you be keep on writing like this? Or in the program, you may clear whenever you want, or you may change your position also. Now, see, anyhow, by default, it is like a, a first row, first column. After some times, you want to display the second row, second row, like row, first position, second row, first position. Now, again, you have to change the command. If you want to change the command, you want, will you be writing this again? You have to write if you want, but we don't want to write like that, right? So, what we can do? So what we can do in better way, we don't want to increase our code lines. Okay, see, you don't know whatever command. So what you have programmed is after 16 characters, you have to come back to the next row. Now, after displaying all the 16 characters, you have to give a condition. Like after 16, then you have to come to second row, first position. That means you have to give a command. Command means again, you have to select RSL0, write the command, change the command, and enable should be done. So what simple, like, simply we can make it in better way. Yes, Negation. Loop. So loop you can take, but uh, loop will be like uh, continuous, right? You want sometimes data, you want sometimes command. So we can go for function method. Whenever yeah. you want the data to be fast, we'll write two functions. One for data, one for data. So whenever you want to write data, call data function by passing what to be trans what to be displayed. And whenever you want to transmit, a, like whenever you want to give a command, then give command as argument and call. Getting? Yes? 
Yes. Understood, everyone. The same thing. Only the difference is instead of writing the direct command and data, you just take it a variable by calling the value like functions through arguments. Fine. Fine. Okay. Now what I'll do? I'll just take your functions. Okay. So this is my command function void. Anyhow, I don't want to return anything, so I'll take void lcd command. So the function name is lcd command I've taken. And here you're passing with arguments. With arguments means you have to give the data type of the arguments. Okay. Then I'll just take your unsigned character. Why character? So here, what is the size of command you're giving? Oh, huh? Eight bit. Size is eight bit, right? Eight bit. What's the size of command? Eight bit. Eight bit. So then, what is the equivalent data type of eight bit? What is the equivalent? The character type? one byte, yeah. One byte. So only I'm taking character. Understanding? Okay. Then character. Then one of the variable I'll just take here as C. Okay. Now instead of call, instead of writing here, what all commands you pass that can be taken through C? Then here I'll be taking as C directly. Understanding? Yes. Understood? Yes. Okay. Then I'll close this function. Any or anything modification? Sure. Any modifications we need? No? Okay. Anyhow, uh, okay. made it as a separate function where all the commands are received in C and that C is only given to LCD, where LCD is nothing but port zero. Fine. Then we go for data function void LCD data. And anyhow, you know the data is now here, it is character LCD. That means it should be of size one byte itself. So I'll take unsigned character D as the variable. Then open. And instead of writing P here, I'll just take D as the variable. Okay, then I'll close the function. And don't forget to put the delay program. And here, I am writing the function before the main. So if it is before main, will it work or not? If it is before main, do we need a function declaration? No. No. It is not required. But whenever you define the definition should be before you call. Right? So now I'm calling these functions in the main function. So I've defined before. Now, delay program also, you're calling your means that should be defined before the function, not after the functions. Okay? It will show like delay, missed prototype, missing prototype. At least you've not declared. So, before, so for that reason only, whenever you call, you just define it before. Or declare the prototype and just call wherever you want. I mean, define wherever you want. Fine. Okay. So we'll just go for void function, void delay. Done. Delay program, command program, and else. The only thing is main program we have to write. Okay. So first thing, before displaying, we have to set this. That means we have to call which function, command or data. Command first. Okay. Now we have to initialize. Now what is the function name I have taken? LCD. LCD command. Then I'm going to call this function here as LCD. CMD. Then here I'll just take 0, x, 3, 8. So first command. And this 0, x, 3, 8. As I said here, it is nothing but 8 bit. So, now, then later, uh, you can also go for LCD command uh, 0, x, 0, 1. This is for clearing purpose. If you want to clear anything before you display, then you can go for clear. Then LCD, CMD. If you want the cursor on, if you want cursor on, display on and cursor on. Okay, okay. like that. Then 0, x. 0 e is the command. So it is there in the command list. So 0 x 0 e for what? Cursor. Cursor. Okay. So cursor. Okay. Fine. And you have the option to decide the position also from which position you want to start. I'll just take the uh, default position that is LCD command 0 x 8 0. So this is just to say what is the start position. You can decide whichever you want. You can take. Anything okay? Start position. 
then all data are like common commands are given then scrolling shifting anything like that you can do later okay then after that data is important now all initial initial settings of lcd are done now we have to display the data now what is the function name of the data lcd data and here i'm just going to pass a uh, data as So now one character I've taken because it is character LCD. So now this character only should be getting displayed on the screen, LCD screen. Understood? Any doubts? Why you should delay function is hundred, mention hundred? Because you are using enable here, right? And enable should be given high to low pulse. Okay, in place of hundred, uh, any value we can take. Any value we can take, but that should not be less than four, like that milliseconds. It should be approximately like around four hundred or four fifty, more than that it can be. Okay. Yeah. So any doubts here? <clears throat> yes. Just repeat it once more. I'll repeat. But any doubts here? Programming. So at least if I give steps, you can follow those steps. At least somehow we can try uh, try to write the program. Yes, ma'am. Still confusions like if I give steps. Any of us showing the steps only? I'm writing the program. So that means uh, like next peripherals and all. If I say like at least if I say you should be capable of writing the program at least for eighty percent level. Yeah. So that I'm not asking you to give like exact program itself. At least whatever I say that can be followed, right? Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine then. Okay, so I'll repeat once. In LCD data, can we give the direct uh, character and or do we have to convert it in the hex uh, ASCII no, hex value? Well. You don't want to convert direct character. Mm -hmm. Because if you give character, it will take its ASCII value. We know that, right? That I know, but here it will con convert into. No, 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 not required. Okay, okay, okay. So then, shaker, like delay program here, you have taken. I'll not explain delay program. Okay. Ah. So here, first, what we have to do is, I have taken separate two functions, one for command and one more for data. Where in the command function, I've just written and kept RH will be always zero, and you're writing, so it is always zero. And here, what data? So what command you want to pass to port zero that you're calling here, like three eight zero one? All these are commands. So once by one, you're passing. So at the time, C will be having it like uh, those respective uh, commands, and that will be given to port zero. That is actually why the command parameter is taken as care. Ah, that is what. Like here, the size of the command I've taken in eight bit format. So only I've taken character. Like even character is also one byte. The command what I'm giving is also one byte. So, oh yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So after giving that, we are reading. So for reading, enable method. High to low pulse are given with a delay of hundred. Understood? Oh. That's clear. Yes. And similarly, data where I've made RS as one, saying that the input is data. Okay. 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 So, how do you do for four bit then? So it is not there in the assignment, like, but still for your knowledge purpose, I'm saying four bit. How to do? Same. Anyhow, only one changes, like one thing you have to change in the entire program, like entire in the main program. Leave about the command and fun, uh, data. Here in this something you have to modify. Uh, LCD First is zero into thirty eight, right? In You have yes. to change it to 20. 28. 28. Okay. So now I want both the rows. That means all the 32 blocks I want, but it should be accessing in four bit mode. But do you do you see anywhere the commands in four bit? Yes. It is no, eight. No. And all our data, what we give character also eight bit, but accessing is only two times, like four bit, four bit. Okay. So now compare it to eight bit. Here it is little bit slow. Low in the sense, two times it is accessing. First, it has to read first four bit. Then it should be enabling reading. Then again access. Then again enable. Two times the process should be okay. So now what logic? Like just a logic I'll explain. So these all same. 
only thing is sorry if i'll just take four bit main program instead of this you will take two which is nothing but four bit okay this all same okay now only thing is how to write this lcd command and data because here what we have done directly we have passed or we have just moved this uh, eight bit value to eight bit code but here what is happening four bit four bit because you are connecting in the port only four bits right then you cannot pass at a time this uh, two eight command everything okay just logically explain if anyone wants to try you can try okay logic now just for an example two eight itself i'll take two eight zero x two eight now it is eight bit data for eight bit value eight bit command okay now first you say me how to write two eight in binary hex nibble format zero 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 one zero one zero 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 now it is two eight like uh, two four bits we have and both are required both are needed only thing is first you have to be accessing what higher nibble if you take higher nibble first you will get two then what you will get eight together it is two eight don't start from eight then two it will be eighty two then okay so now what we have to do you know masking method masking whichever you don't want you will mask with f and operation you remember at least somewhere those who have studied logic gates logic designs all those you remember no okay fine so here we have to masking is the uh, like uh, in a major concept here in four bit okay because eight bit together we are not taking so first what we have to take two that means i need to mask eight i don't want eight okay now starting from here which is lsb and which is msb it is lsb this is lsb and this is msb that means b0 to t7 so you start from here that means here it comes this is b0 and this is d7 but in the port which are the bits we are going to connect from d4 to d7 only right that means we are can make a connection okay so now what we have to do you think now here i'll just take first you have to be masking any of whichever you take first you need two only now i will be masking so the next step you should be masking with the value masking with 0f now when you 0f means you are performing the and operation and 0f okay now 0f means how will you write 0 sorry f0 not zero because you want to right f0 f0 okay now 1 1 1 and your 0 0 and what operation you are performing and okay now what happens after masking 0 with 0 1 with 0 anything 0 1 1 with 0 0 itself 0 what value you got now only 2 20 so now 8 bit only we got right we got is 8 bit only that is 0 x 2 0 okay now anyhow your connection is anyhow with d4 to d7 itself you will be connecting d4 to d7 to port 40 fourth pin to port 0 seventh pin now anyhow it is parallelly connected so no need to shift also now any confusions here getting no so now you just got to now after this you have to follow this enable method you have to enable what two okay understanding so you have to enable this mask or enable four bit data done okay after still one more four bit is there right now one more four bit means again you will take this to a then you have to mask with the value now which you want two you want or a you want a you need so now you have to be masking with 0f f okay so now you will mask with 0f now here it will be like uh, Zero 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 zero. Yes. Okay. Now after masking, so any of the higher nibble will be zero, and coming to lower nibble it will be eight again, right? Zero. Yeah. Now we got the eight bit value that is zero eight. x eight zero. Yeah. Sorry, zero eight. eight. Fine. Now the eight what we have got it is in the lower part. Now where is our connection made? Higher nibble or lower nibble? D four to D seven we have done. Now you, if you take zero eight, then eight what value we have got? It is in the lower nibble side. 
Now I need to shift it four times so that it will come to left hand side. Right. So means higher limit. Now the data should be. Now here the data should be shifted. Like when it shifted left, how many times? Four yeah. times. Okay. Now what happens after shifting? So it will become zero eight. Okay, just like what? Next step. Shift the data like four times. After shifting the data, 80. one zero zero, and in C we know it is now rotational shift. That means your IR will be 80. lower level will be zero. Now anyhow, we wanted is eight, which had come to higher level. Done. Now what you have to do after shifting? Then you have to enable. Four bit. Okay. Now two times you need to enable here. Understood. So two times the process will be first higher nibble itself you have to add process then you have to be processing for lower and whenever you you are processing for lower nibble because the data pins are connected to higher nibble you have to be shifting four times now think in the LCD sorry in the microcontroller is there any rule like you have to connect to four zero four pin to four zero seven pin From the LCD, any of it is D4 to D7. But in the port, is there any rule like from P4 to P7 only should be connecting? No. no. You can connect any port, right? No. Getting? Yes. Okay. Yes. At the time, then shifting should be taken care because here I am connecting parallelly to the higher nibble pins, so I am shifting towards left. But if you are connecting port zero to port three. Port zero to port like sorry, port zero dot zero to port zero dot three. Then your shifting should be towards right, and that port two, this one. You will be connecting lower nibble. Uh, yeah, lower nibble. If you are connecting to port zero, lower nibble of the ports. Yeah. But for the LCD, you have to be connecting to higher nibble, D four to D seven. But any four bit you can select, right? So based on that, your shifting should be done. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so according to this, you can write the program. Fine, and same for the data also. If you have taken data as a forty one is the hex value, first you will process for four, and then you will be processing for one. So in the command or data function, this is all you have to do. You will be taking one extra temporary variable to store this answer. Okay, so for example, if you are taking, then think I have taken one of the character variable temp. Uh, temp is having two zero value now. After masking, you are storing this two zero. Then here, what you have to do? Temp. Uh, not here. You are shifting where? Yeah, no. Here. Temp equals temp. How many times? Four. Shift. Temp shift four. Again, you are storing the same variable. If you want, you can take one more variable also. Clear? Yes, ma'am. So, so first you will try for eight bit, and if you have time, then you can try for this four bit more. Fine. Okay. So now, any doubts in the programming part? I have just showed you for one single character. Then after doing this program, you have to try for string. That means your name. Displaying your name, taking for loop and calling the function inside the for loop. What function? This LCD data function. You have to initialize this uh, string, and you know how to read the string, right? Position by position, taking for loop. Yes, everyone. Ma'am, inside the for loop, we have to increase, uh, increment the cursor, right? No need to increment. And here, no need to increment the cursor position. By default, it gets incremented. Okay. Okay. Don't increment. Fine. Yes, ma'am. Once the data is printed, by default it goes to the next position, and there it prints. So no need to increment. So you just want to increment the position. That is enough. Normal for loop, but instead of printing printf, you are going for LCD data. Clear? Yes. So do you want me to show this same thing on uh, Proteus? Any of key you cannot check the output. You can check only the hex values of these uh, values. Three eight zero one. These only you can check on uh, key. But in Proteus you can check the output. Will you make the connection by yourself, or you want me to show? Any of in the PPT? PPT, I have just given the connection. Same thing you can do. Okay, you want me to show or what? Who wants me to show? You say I'll just show. What, ma'am? Proteus on Proteus. Do you want me to show the LCD program? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. 
So in the schematic capture, you have to find for LCD first. So here, see, LCD. Or you can directly give 16 cross 2. So you will get the LCDs. And those LCDs preview also you can find here. Just take one. So I have taken 4, 0 for this LCD. So if you are using port 0, what extra thing we have to do here in Proteus? S? Connect pull up resistor. Pull up resistor, you should be connecting. So that everyone knows, right? So then I'll take pull up resistor here. <coughs> So first for this So then what it's, we have to connect uh, port one I've taken, RS. And here, as I said, the power is not required. So to connect your VSS, VDD. Okay, so in progress. Okay. Anything else we have to connect here? So all this, uh, are uh, control pins as well as data pins have connected. Yes. Okay. So once we just uh, build our program. <coughs> then we'll run. Yes. <coughs> Getting. According to the values like 3, 8, 2, 8, what all you give, according to that only your blue, green, red, like values your like changes. Ma'am, yeah. while is stable. What is stable? And why it is continuously blinking. This one. Huh, because you understand here in the microcontroller, what all operations you do, everything is infinite. 
even though we have written the code once the operation will be infinite okay if you want to stop that then that particular should be written like while of one entire program you have to write while of one and you have to terminate like you remember do while loop we write while of one and terminate right similarly for anything you want to execute only once you have to be doing that okay if not everything will be continuous even the motor you take or uh, led you take it will be continuous fine so that is why because why the reason is like whenever you take uh, any like uh, registers if you decrement keep decrementing or keep incrementing after f what is the next value will get 00, 0 itself okay or after like before 00, 0 what is the like, previous value after 0 what is the previous value f so it will be like rotation only so it will be always the process is also like uh, continue like infinite for that reason okay Yes, so, if you are taking hardware, also like those are doing in hardware, the same way of setup. Uh, I think uh, you have got LCD, right, Janish? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh -huh. On the development board itself, we have got LCD pins also. Just connect that. VCC and V like uh, ground is not required. Like only potentiometer is given. You can rotate that. You can wait. So yeah. first. Yeah, first you try with Proteus, like anyone who is doing online. Then for hardware you can do. Clear? Okay, ma'am. And after doing that, you have to finish the assignment which I showed now. The assignment is you have to scroll your name on LCD. First try with the character. Then you have to display your name. Then you have to scroll it either left or right. Clear? So and you can change your row. It not it need not be always first run first column. It can be second row. Make it like left scroll, right scroll, anything. Fine. And you have the commands also, right? I'll share you the PPT. And in that PPT, all the commands are given that you can refer and for like for doing the assignment. Okay. Understood. Any doubts? Any doubts? No. No doubts. Okay. So if no doubts, then you can take break for five to ten minutes. Same link itself. You have to come online, ma'am. Ah, uh, online mm -hmm. students. Yeah, same link. Same link. Uh. So if you want, take break and come. And I want everyone to come for the lab, and you have to show me the output. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Sachin. <clears throat> I'll share you the pictures. So if you want, take break and come. Come back. Five uh, minutes. Uh, give me fifteen minutes, ma'am. Uh, take take your break and come back. Yes, ma okay. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Because you have to explain now. Uh, yesterday's also class. So for that reason only, please don't get absent. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. This is only one time which happened. Thank you. Next time, ma'am. One time from that. yours. Like that, if everyone is doing that thing. Huh? <laughs> okay. So I'll just uh, end if you want. Like again, I'll uh, like come back if you want. If you want, take break. Come back. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Bye. Huh? Hi. Yes. Sure. So see this program ma'am. Got it. Got error ma'am. Just you can okay. see. LED continuously blinking. Okay. You want to share your screen? Yeah. Huh. Share then shake it. Okay, share. Like this, uh, how can I rectify this now? Uh, you have saved your file in C extension. Save it in .s extension. It is assembly program.
here it is also dots remove that file and add this lv dot Build your program and check out. Ma'am, yes. Type set to you told me, ma'am. Actually, how can I? What? Left shift on right shift program. You try. You just you just said like that, ma'am. Ah, that is the assignment. So you should see. You just give me a, a key, ma'am. I, I don't know actually. How can I write it? You have learned to see operators left shift, right shift, right? Yeah. Ah, the same operators. Think some logic there. How to shift? That's all. First, you try. Send me the code. What you have tried, I'll see. If you are not get, if you are not at all getting, then I'll explain. In this way only, no, ma'am. Like this program. Do in this, or you can go for uh, C programming also. Yours. C program also is executed, ma'am. C program only I showed. No, you showed in the morning. That is C program. Yeah, this is assembly, right, ma'am? This is assembly. You can do in assembly or you can do it C, whichever you feel comfort, which you feel easy. You can do. I don't mind. That's fine, ma'am. Uh, I didn't understand this assembly. That's why I'm asking. You did not understand. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. But uh, not today class is understood. Understood. Understand me, ma'am. Previous is how, what is uh, move or not? Uh, why you? Because because you were absent for the instruction class, so only you are finding difficult there, right? Yes, ma'am. First, go through those instructions. Then you ask me doubts. I'll explain. Okay. 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 Fine. Thank you. Okay. Take break. Even I'll take break for five to ten minutes, and I'll come back. Okay, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye, ma'am. I'll come back. <laughs>